Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a viewer wrote me an email, Patrick Brush. Thanks for the email, Patrick. Hello, ArtOfTheImage.com. Uh, I really like your content you talk about and watch a lot of your videos on the Nikon side. I'm actually looking to switch from Canon to Nikon. I'm e emailing you about upgrading from my current gear to new gear. The current gear I have is a Canon T3i and a 50mm f1.8. So actually not a bad little setup. Uh, I do a lot of truck photography, rolling shots, stills at truck shows, etc. I do get paid for it and I just graduated from college so I'm on a bit of a budget. The only requirements I need to fill are focus points, low light performance, good budget buffer and frames per second burst. So it doesn't sound like you're interested in video at all. Uh, what's your advice on what camera I should get? Anything helps. Thank you very much. So tricky because I would say, I mean, you've got three cameras that are all very capable. The D7200 is one of the best performing, if not still the best performing um, APS-C high ISO camera out there. The D750, one of the best performing full frame cameras out there, uh, you know, definitely in the top probably five still. Uh, and the D610 right up there as well. It's so close to be basically on par as with this D750. So um, focus points, there's probably more and, and whatnot, a little bit more advanced autofocus system in your D7, in a D750 uh, than there is in a D610. So if that's a huge issue for you, between those two cameras, you could go for the D750. However, if you're still considering the 7200, I think the autofocus system on it is basically the flagship autofocus system. So it's on par with what you get in the 750. Low light performance. Again, all of them are very, very good. Um, 7200, best of the APS-C. 750 and 610, pretty much on par and excellent cameras in the top best performing cameras out there right now for full frame. Um, if you want the ultimate, I would probably go with the 750 out of the three. Um, but the 610 is so close. If that's your only reason, I wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm just, it's hard to, you know, the 750 is an amazing camera, but I'd rather see you probably, if you want to go full frame, get a 610 and some decent lenses with the same money. If you're, if you know, you're on a budget, you said so. So a uh, good buffer, 750 has got a little bit better than the 610. 610 is still pretty decent. I'm, I'm not sure that um, the buffer is an issue for what you'd be shooting. And the 7200 has got a decent buffer, you know. So, um, And then the frames per second burst. A little better in the 750 than the 610. Still decent in the 610. And uh, the D7200 is really decent too. So, um, I mean, the ultimate camera there is, is the 750. It's my probably my favorite full-frame camera on the market right now. Um, that said... The 610 is also one of my top favorites because value for money, it offers a lot more value for your dollar than the 750 does. If I was buying them right now and I'm on a budget, especially it sounds like what your budget, um, you know, where I'm really watching what I'm spending, I'd be very happy with some 610s. Uh, and that's what I would probably go with, with for the low light performance ability. And then I'd probably spend my money very carefully on some used, good, fast lenses, some fast primes and a decent all-around zoom. You can get the 610 with a nice kit lens. Um, actually, I'd be fine with you going with the 24 to 120 VRF4 and then a 50 mil F1.8 or an 85 F1.8 or the 20 or 24, whichever one you want or all of them. Uh, and then, you know, you're getting all that for right around the price of a 750, you know, close. Anyways, you get a few lenses with a 610 versus just a 750. Um, the 7200, um, I think it sounds like you're kind of leaning towards full frame. And if low light performance is more important to you, then I would go with them um, because they are a little better, probably close to two stops better. Um, but the 7200 is an excellent camera too, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't be upset to hear that you did go with the 7200. I mean, if you went with two 7200 bodies and some decent lenses, I think you'd be doing just fine. So you kind of got to decide really because the 7200 and the 610 can be had for very close to the same dollars. So is there some performance you get out of the 7200 that is a little bit better than the 610 that's more important to you? Um, as I said, for me, if I'm buying in those three, I'm going for the 610 if I'm on a budget. If money's no objective, I'm going for the D750 and I'm getting the D750 and the best of the lenses. That's not the issue here. You mentioned that. So my my feeling is 610s. 
Um, even go for them used in good shape, refurbs in good shape, um, and then get some good lenses. Uh, but I'm not not worried if you want to go the 7200 7, route. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my recommendations there? Do you not? Leave some comments below. Let's discuss it. And I hope that helps you out, Patrick. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.